I fell in love like you would fall asleep. Slowly, and then all at once. That is exactly how I fell in love with you. It started seven years ago. <laughs> From the moment you came into my life, you always treated me with kindness and respect, which felt kind of foreign at the age of 15. <laughs> you very quickly became someone I never wanted to leave. I think it was somewhere around year five that I realized I loved you. For five years, our friendship had grown until it wasn't a friendship anymore, slowly, and then all at once. I wanted to start by saying thank you. Our story has been a truly beautiful one, but not one without trial and hardship. It's sad to say that most of the hardship has been because of me, but no matter what, you always stuck by me. You never gave up on me. You loved me through every bit of it, even when I'm sure you didn't want to. So for all this and more, I wanted to thank you. Through that hardship, when you were finally done with me, or so you thought, you created a list of characteristics that you vowed that the next man you let enter your life would have. Some of these characteristics that were on the list were ones that I had, but most of them were characteristics that I didn't have. The intention was that I specifically didn't have these characteristics so that it would not be me. When I gave my life to Christ, he quickly began changing me into the man that you needed and wanted, almost perfectly matching the list that you described. You hear people talk about the love in movies, saying how unrealistic it is, how it paints the picture of a love that doesn't exist. That used to scare me. <laughs> I thought for sure that love would disappoint me. But this love <laughs> makes me grateful it's nothing like the movies. Because this love is so much better than I ever could have imagined. I wanted to say that you encourage me. When I get discouraged, I look at you because I know that if God entrusted a fool like me with one of his best like you, then he must see something in me that I don't. In you, I have a love that's kind and patient. A love that is selfless, that endures all things, a love that honors me and God, one that loves me boldly without fear, a love that points me to Jesus and the model of love that he displays. I vow to listen to you. I vow to be a man of honesty and integrity. I vow to be teachable, reliable, and compassionate. I vow to never stop pursuing you. I vow to make Christ the center of this marriage and our home. That's why I can vow to always love you, to pray for you and pray for us, to put in the work it takes to keep God at the center of our lives and our decisions. I vow to fight for our relationship. I will do my best to admit when I'm wrong <laughs> and admit when you're right. I'll fight to end fights, not win them. I vow to honor you in my words and my actions. I will be intentional in showing you just how loved and appreciated you are so that you always know. And when it gets hard, I will stay. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, I will stay. I won't run away. I won't go back on my word. I promise to be your teammate. Our marriage will be two-sided both working together, both making sacrifices. Today, I will become we. I will be yours, and you will be mine through the good and the bad till death parts.